Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard as the light fades away and the day is almost over and I have a large and copious amount of paint. I would like that lid to not fall down. So I'm going to try and use it in the most off the wall way I can as opposed to the way I have been, which is still off the wall of course, but not as off the wall as what I've got in mind. And I'm going to try and be quick, so we still have some daylight left to do this by. I'm thinking I'm going to, instead of adding even layers of anything, I'm going to add dollops or dribbles. And I'm still going to use an acetate card, I think, to drag through. And I'm still going to use some enamel, and I'm still going to use some gold. But I'm going to try and whack it out. Just change it up. Make it fun and funky. Crossing my fingers and toes. I don't want to see any canvas and these canvases are a little bit interesting as far as that goes so I may have to check them later before I'm done. It's not the spatula's fault for sure. Okay so I'm going to take a chance that that'll be enough run my fingers down the edge. I can see a little paint. All right, so I've got this gorgeous paint and I really need I really need to get brave and brazen. And it's still too much paint. <laughs> oh well. It'll be interesting. It may not work. It could though. Where's my enamel? Is that it? That's not it. It has to be here though. There it is right there. Cool. I'm just going to go with the flow. I know I'm going to wish there were some other colors in there. And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to do this randomly. said it would be fun and funky. Well, why don't I just take that color, put it down on the top. And why don't I take... every bit of color and put it down on the top. I wasn't going to go there, but I am. <laughs> totally going to go there. Because when I'm willing to experiment, that's when the coolest things happen. All right, I'm liking those wobbly lines. I'm willing to accept my fate, whatever it might be. to do another painting too. I'm going to use that the wide way. Let's put a little bit of gold in here. A little bit more gold. Where we know the enamel is. Let's see what happens. I'm going to pull down through. Not sure yet. A lot of nice cells. I really just want some of this orange so badly. 
so much so I'm going to use my enamel make some wobbles I'm not sure what else I need but I don't have very many colors I was hoping for. It's tempting to go ahead with the basting brush, but I'm not seeing a lot of colors in there that I can actually Not sure what I'm doing. But I sometimes I just let my muse go. It kind of wants more purple. Oh, that purple saves everything. I've never known it not to work. Maybe some white? Gee, usually I'm lucky at the end of the day. Oh, I think the white is going to work well. Let's see what happens. Let's just play. That's not working so far. I do have more paint and it is bright colored. Usually I'm trying to wait till the next day to try and fix things. But right now I don't mind the idea of using my paint. I use GAC 800 by Golden to keep my paint from cracking. Got some great gold cells. Might as well try and make use of everything you've got at your disposal. I even have a whole nother dish, which I absolutely love. I'm not minding that black in there. I'm going to use a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula to make a little more negative space. Not hating that anymore. Cool. I'm still, still getting to the place where I am completely done. Not there yet. That is a color shifting purple from folk art that I'm completely enamored of. Absolutely. And I'm going to call this good and let my containers walk over to the bucket as soon as I decide I can let what's in here go and I'm not sure I can do that. Might as well just play, right? Have paint will play. It hadn't turned to mud, so I might be sorry. I might have a whole edge I want to use some paint up on, and I'm using it up on the painting. Oh well. So I'm just gonna, oh, that ran down right into my hand between my fingers. <laughs> You'd think I wouldn't mind. My least favorite is when the paint falls between the toes of my... F on, when my, I'm wearing my sandals. Especially if I don't find it for a few minutes. 
and I don't notice when it happens because then I gotta like excavate it. TMI. You know, I'm I'm really not unhappy with that, but I'm wondering if a few dots of orange might not make me even happier. Because I can. That's the name of my book on the Amazon link. Under show more. Under the video. And I'm loving my orange dots. That is, an, that is a, um, a deco art 24 karat gold. And I think that the only thing that I'm really missing that I would like is a little bit of this red. I've been craving this shimmering red all day and it shimmers because I added the golden product called Iridescent Pearl Fine. So do I want any white? Am I done? I definitely no, don't need any gold. The white is dangerous though because it just comes out really fast. Really too fast to take a chance on. But I'm going to leave it, except for these. I'm not going to leave those. All right, so I love you guys, and uh, there's 86,000 of you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for, um, for watching longer, knowing that watching longer is the only thing that the YouTube algorithm understands. As far as giving me good placement goes, I'm going to do a little waggle here. Yeah, good with that. There's some dimensionality in there that's pretty cool. Things I wanted in there didn't sink, which is even better. That's pretty wild, honestly. I like it. I wasn't sure, and now I really like it. So I'm going to torch release the bubbles in the paint. Tell you guys there's like almost five minutes left before I have to do anything to tell you, but I'm going to tell you anyway. I do sell my artwork. And purchasing my artwork is the most helpful thing you can possibly do to help keep me painting on YouTube. I will give classes again when the, when the coronavirus has run its course and we don't have to stay cooped up in our houses anymore. Until then, I'd love to keep painting. And uh, if you guys are interested in making a donation, it's a $10 minimum, but you can get into a contest. Excuse me, not a contest, never a contest. It's a monthly drawing, and there are five paintings up for grabs and you can see all of them on the exhibition video on the end screens of this video. This is kind of different but it was paint that I wasn't going to use any other way so that's good. I mean I could have tried to leave it for tomorrow but that doesn't always work. Especially not when it's hot out. But my paint goes into a into a little tiny studio that's actually literally whoops a potting shed. The end iron holding down my camera has <laughs> just sort of encroached on my painting. I am just quickly touching my edges up and then I'm going to call it good. Tell you guys there's 1310 videos and they are organized by the hundred and also by genre if you look for creative playlists. Also, you can find the PayPal or Patreon icons on my channel header or the links underneath the video if you're interested in making a contribution to keep me painting. Thank you guys for everybody who's done that already, by the way. I'm, I can't help it. I'm being called. Right there. Yep, I'm good. So this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressions Art Studio Gallery in the backyard asking for your thumbs up. And thank you for watching and telling you that if you shop my Amazon link under the video, you will help me out at no added cost to you. And I appreciate it very much. Look for my books there. Expressionist Art Studio books um, are because I can and unlimited possibilities. Thank you guys very much for everything, for all the wonderful comments. Thank you for making my day with all of your wonderful love. I love you guys. Bye for now. Priscilla out.